Okay, let's start this lecture with family of directions. So what is family of directions? This is used in material science to define similar types of directions. So let's understand what it is. So by taking example of FCC or BCC we can understand what is the family of direction. Okay, let's consider this is a FCC unit cell. Now on this FCC unit cell if I take this direction this direction and this direction okay and let's say this is A this is B and this is C if I designate this A, B and C then the A will be designated as keeping the orientation of the coordinate system same this is X, Y and Z okay so the designation of A will be 1 1 and 0 designation of B will be 1 0 1 and designation of C will be 0 1 1 okay so can we see any similarity between these three directions so if we look at the designations we can see that the similarity is all these three directions are having one twos sorry two ones and one zero these are having two ones and one zero two ones and one zero two ones and one zero and also if we look at the atomic arrangement along these directions as it is FCC on these directions there will be three atoms touching each other on this direction there will be three atoms touching each other on this direction also there will be three atoms touching each other so what I want to point out is if we look at the atomic arrangement along these three directions so that is similar and in the designation also we can find some similarity right so if I want to define deformation on any of the direction then I can define it similarly how so let's say I am making group of this and I am saying that the name of this group is 110 let's say I am saying it is 110 now when I say that the na group name is 110 that means I am defining 1101010111 as well as similar type of directions having negative values. So bar 1, bar 1, 0, bar 1, 0, bar 1, 0, bar 1, bar 1, etc. So this is called a family of direction. And the family of direction is written inside caret. And the name of the family of the direction can be name of any of the family members. Okay, so the designation of this family can be designation of any one direction. I can write it as 101 also, I can write it as 011 also. So whenever we come across this type of designation inside the caret, if it is 1110, we have to understand that it is about all the directions 1101010111 bar 1 bar 10 bar 10 bar 10 bar 1 bar 1 etc okay so this is nothing but family of direction similarly we can define family of planes so family of planes is also 
designated by designation of any one family member and it is written inside call bracket ok so let's say I want to define family 101 so I will write it in call bracket so this means we are talking about all these planes 101 110 0, 0, 1, 1, and also with bar value on it so this is very important characteristic of cubic unit cells that they form similar directions and similar planes and on the similar directions and planes the properties of the material will also remain same now let's go to designation of direction for hexagonal system designation of directions and planes on hexagonal system now why it is different so that uh, you can say that from the study of crystal systems we have understood that it is different than the cubic unit cell. In cubic unit cell all the edge lengths are same, same while in case of hexagonal system we have different height ok so why the designation of the hexagonal system should be given differently that is a question so generally in case of designation of hexagonal system we are going to use 4 axis rather than 3 axis that means not 3 axis so why we require 4 axis let's understand so let me draw a hexagonal unit cell This is the hexagonal unit cell. Okay, now let's take three axis system over here. As we know that the angle values are different than cubic, we have to take the axis accordingly. So let's say this is axis A1, this is A2, and this is Z. this must be 120 degree that we know now using this axis system let us define or let us designate this plane so let's say I want to designate this plane ok so what will be the intercepts so on A1 axis the intercept of this plane is 1 on A2 the intercept of this plane is infinite and on Z also it is infinite so designation of this plane let's say this is plane A so designation of plane A is 100 zero zero. right now if you look at plane B let's say this is the plane B looking at the atomic arrangement the plane B is similar to plane A so as in case of cubic systems we were able to define family of planes and family of directions showing different atomic or oh sorry showing same atomic arrangement we are able to define family of directions and family of planes which shows same atomic arrangement here also we should be able to define family of directions and planes right so let's now define designation of plane b so i am writing it over here so 
So for plane B, if I write the intercept on A1, so plane B intercept on A1 is 1, intercept on A2, so that is in this direction. So intercept on A2 is minus 1 and intercept on Z is infinite. So the designation of plane B will be reciprocal of this, that means 1 bar 1, 0. Now if we look at these two designations, 1, 0, 0 and 1 bar 1, 0, they are different. Here we have two zeros and single 1, whereas in this designation we have two 1s and single 0. However, if we see the atomic arrangement will be same on this plane. The designation is not similar. So this creates a problem. So we cannot define family if we use 3x system. We cannot define family. Okay, so that is why we are using 4 axes. Now, how the problem is solved by using 4 axes? Let's understand. Let's add one more axis at 120 degree to this. Okay, so I, this is 120 degree. This must be 120. So, I am adding one more axis on this. And let's say that is A3. Okay, now... So let's say this is using 3 axis, this whole thing is using 3 axis. The same plane, let's now define using 4 axis system. Same plane, so plane A we are defining now. So if you look at the plane A1, the A1 intercept will be 1, A2 intercept will be infinite as this should be parallel to this, it should be infinite A3 intercept. Now we have 4 axis so A3 also we have to think about so if we extend it beyond so on A3 the A, inter A is intercepting at minus 1 and on Z it is infinite so if we take reciprocal of this it gives us plane 1 0 bar 1 0 Similarly, now let's say this is B using 3 axis. Let me write separately over here using 4 axis. So now using 4 axis, if I define the designation, so on A1 the intercept is 1, on A2 the intercept is minus 1 on A3 the intercept is infinite and on Z the intercept is infinite so the designation becomes 1 bar 1 0 0 now if we compare 1 bar 1 0 0 with 1 0 bar 1 0 we see that it is forming a family here we have two ones and two zeros and here also we have two ones and two zeros that means now we can say that it is forming a family so the planes which are having similar atomic arrangement are forming family if we use 4 axis system rather than 3 axis system so this is why in case of hexagonal system we go for 4 axis system and we have to consider A1, A2 and A3 at 120 degree interval and Z as vertical axis. This is how designation of direction and plane on hexagonal system is different than cubic. And this is called miller Breves indices for 
hexagonal system. Okay. Let's take one more example for designation of plane on hexagonal. Let's say I want to define this plane. I want to define this plane. Let's say I want to define this. Okay, so for this plane, if we find the intercepts, so on A1, we have 1, on A2, we have infinite, we are not having any intercept on A2 and we will never have, because it will always remain parallel with A2. On A3, we have intercept over here, which is minus 1. And on Z we have intercept over here, which is one. Now remember, this is an this is a point to be remembered. See, we consider that the edge length is different than the height of the unit cell in case of hexagonal system. But while designating the directions in plane, we will always take Z is also unit. Right, so we will also consider Z as a unit value as edge length. This is also 1 and this is also 1. We will say this is also 1 along the Z. And that is why for this example we are saying that the intercept on Z axis is 1. Okay, so by reciprocal this gives me the value 1, 0, bar 1 and 1 and this is the designation of this plane. This is how we designate planes on hexagonal system. Now but if we talk about directions then the direction is designated differently. We have to make some conversion for designation of direction. So what is it? So in case of designation of direction, we will first use three axis system and we will find coordinate values then we will convert it into 4x system and that will give us the required designation ok so in case of designation of planes we can define it directly but in case of designation of directions we have to first use 3x system then we will find coordinate values, those coordinate values we will convert in 4 axis system and then we will get the final designation. Ok, so we will see this in next lecture.